back and away. Okay, control from here. All right, Dan and Steven, it is your turn. This is a great way to get them experience too. We can keep rotating people up here. All right, um, we are coming this way. Let's unselect the station for a little bit. Oh, it won't let me, okay, fine. Uh, let's put this onto the retrograde vector. I think, honestly, let's just go for like down here. Why not? Uh, let's move away from the station. That. Get this map up. This is now full throttle. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Bye bye, station. We'll be back again soon. Which way is this? Do, 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 do. We'll make it work. I'm just looking at the terrain and I would prefer to land over this way rather than kind of right into that dark crater. I think would probably be a better plan. So what I'm thinking is we'll head on down there. We'll do a little bit of a normal burn. And everything's frozen. There we go. Don't like it when things freeze. It freaks me out. About here. And we're going to do... I believe this should be an anti-normal burn. Thinking. <laughs> yeah. And I want to just push this trajectory more into this zone over this way. So it's a little more in the light and hopefully not quite as... There we go. That's the idea. That looks a little better. Okay. Got lots of fuel, so I shouldn't have to worry about this stuff. Okay, what is this thing? We're going to be coming down. Oh, we're going to come pretty close. This is the flag I put before, but the flag is actually in the lowlands. So actually, I'm going to come pretty close to an existing flag. This actually might work. Um, can I see the flag? Here's the flag there, I think. Can I target that flag? Flags. Mimis Lander 1. I want to come short of that flag. And so using this as my... Uh, that, sh that should help me out. If I come short of that flag, we should be in the poles. Because last time I did this, I came just... Just too far. And I'm going to do this so the... There we go. That's much better. Like it when the ground is below me. So I want to get over, yeah, we're in Midlands right now, but we put down our landing gear while we're thinking about things. So we're over Midlands now. I prefer not to land in all of this business. This is probably the danger I got into before. We're in Lowlands now. It's telling me up here, by the way, I have Kerbal Engineer telling me what the biomes are. Um, oh, maybe we were orbiting the other way before. Maybe I need to go past. That could be. So there's the flag from before, but we might have been coming from the other direction. Okay, it's now saying poles. Let's just kill it right here. We're killing it. We're going to see if we can just kind of put down somewhere in right below. I can see here saying poles. So I think last time I was probably doing this. 
We're killing off our horizontal velocity for the most part. There we go. We're coming down. I suspect last time I saw all this and went, oh, I don't want to land in there. And so I carried myself a little further and ended up in lowlands. Because this flag I know is in lowlands. So we're very close to an old landing spot. Okay, let's just burn here and completely kill off our vertical velocity. We'll just go straight down. Or our horizontal velocity, I'm sorry. Looking at it up here. Nice. Okay, there we go. We're coming down. Let us drop. What's the slope below us? Slope below us is 17.4 degree, or, yeah, degrees. Uh, maybe a little bit this way. Might not be a bad bad plan. Looks a little less slope over here. Hope that's going to be better. And maybe a little more this way. Just push like this. I think I see more greenstone too. I see something down there. Okay, I like this. Time warp a bit. Okay, let's get ourselves again to be straight down. I see, yeah, there's little blobs of greens. Can you collect more than one green stone? Will it let you do that? I have absolutely no clue. I should kind of concentrate on my landing though. Now it's saying the slope below me is 21 degrees, so I might have put myself into a worse situation, but I'm going to go for it. Slow down. Oh, I should refurbish those ants too next time I'm doing this stuff. How far are we? 200 meters from the surface. Pushing a little bit. Looks like a little bit of a hill right there. I don't know. Is it that slopey? It's hard to tell. Oh gosh, I'm on target. Up, 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 up. Sorry, I just noticed. Oh my gosh. All of a sudden I noticed I was definitely going sideways. And it was confusing me. And I don't know if people were saying that in the chat. But all of a sudden I noticed. Come on, stop. Okay, can we... St don't fall over and everything... Ah, you're not going to fall over. Anyway, this was on target. So it was giving me the velocities relative to the target and the vectors are relative to the target uh, which of course I don't know what the heck it's targeting now oh I'm targeting the flag okay so velocity was fine but the, the vectors were off because all of a sudden I noticed I was going sideways <sighs> okay we're okay we are in the poles we are in the poles everything's fine <laughs> okay doing science doing science everything's turned on crew reports running that is the only thing that's fine we'll turn off pressure control uh let's see steven's gonna go out let go fall on your head down he goes 
And actually, while I got Steven out and while I'm thinking about it, let's inspect engines and stuff. Always says it's like looking like it's going to fail soon. Okay, and let's inspect these ant engines. These are our backup engines. Yeah, we'll service all this stuff. Okay, we got three of those, so let's... Whoa! Steven, where are you going? Oh, I see mountains. Those are the ones you need the uh, drill for, I believe. All stuff for the future. Inspect again. It's going to fall apart. Okay, and one more. Oh my gosh, Steven, come back. Inspect. Service. And then inspect again. The ol olivine formations is what they're being called in the chat. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure they're worth investigating. Either way, we got our engine service. Let's get uh, let's get Dan out. Dan, of course, is going to do some sciencing for us. There, Dan's going to do this gracefully. There we go. See, that's the way it's done. Uh, we have an EVA report and a surface sample to collect. Yeah, you can use the scanning arm to get science from these formations, but I do not have a scanning arm here. I should really, I don't, I have unlocked it, so I really should just start thinking about rovers and buggies and all that kind of stuff. But I think, I don't think any of that stuff is worth investigating, so I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, uh, flag time. So, plant a flag. I'm on the wrong one. Plant flag, there we go. This is the pug one A3 once again, landing number three. I turned on the autopilot somehow by mistake. <laughs> and uh, this is now, we are talking about Steven and and P on site. All right. Otherwise, I really don't think there's much for us to do here. So we might as well just get ourselves back up. Richard's asking which add-on am I using? You'll have to be very mo much more specific, Richard, because there is a lot going on in this one. A lot of mods. Full mods is down there in the description for anybody, but if you have a question about anything in particular, by all means, just ask. Okay, there we go. And Dan. Now, is Dan finished doing her EVA reports and stuff? Oh, I'm on the flag. <laughs> There's Dan. Data. She has collected her pool samples. We are just have to get up. Whoa, F. Here we go. Feet first. <laughs> okay, so we need to get ourselves back. Uh, yeah, this is pretty slopey here, I'm just looking at, but let's see, where is our, let's set our target back to what it's supposed to be. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Stations, Mimma Station, okay. Uh, the station is on its way north. Now is north, oh my gosh, when you're down by the pole, which way is north? All directions are north, right? 
I would hate to go the wrong way. Oh wait, I can do this. If if I'm looking at the sun, I need to go to the right. So if I'm looking at the sun, I need to go to the right. So that way. So downhill. Whether that's north, whether that's south, I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to find out in just a little bit. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. And this way. No. Oops. This way. This doesn't feel right. Feel Okay, I'm going to aim straight for here. There's the target. Uh, I hope this is going to be okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. We have raised our apoapsis a lot. Okay, where are we at? <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, this is going to work. Not the best plan, but it's going to work. <laughs> okay, 35 credits from EVA report from the polls. Now I blew way past... Got 23 kilometers from my apo apoapsis. Oh, somebody was asking how do I how did I edit the names of the Kerbals? I did that by going into the save file, which is called persistent.sfs, and simply editing them with a text editor. That was it. Nothing, nothing too imaginative. I went and looked for every, you know, use the find replace features that are in text editor. Said, I don't know, whatever the Kerbal's name was initially and just replaced it with what I wanted it to be. Okay. We are going to go for a circularization here. Got a little bit confused. I don't think I went in quite the right direction. I think I should have gone due north. But, oh well. We'll make it work. Right now, though, we need to get an orbit. But we got more samples coming. Yeah, if you are going to edit save files, John's saying just be careful with backups. And if you are, whoops, let's, let's actually burn. <laughs> if you are editing save files, always take a copy of the original and put it somewhere safe. So if you end up messing it up, you don't end up messing up your whole game. Let's just lock that on programming. Oh, oh, I overcooked it again. Oh my gosh. I'm really having an issue with that today. Okay. Let's just put this for solar panel exposure. I like that. All right. Um, we need to get ourselves to the station. I have done a crappy job. <laughs> an absolutely atrocious job. You know what I'm going to do here? I can as what I've done already, I've already pushed this apoapsis already almost up to the so I'm going to actually take advantage of this. Push this up like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a maneuver here I've already made a bit of a hash of this <laughs> and let's go, we're going to try and adjust this maneuver and try and get our encounter here. So uh, let's see. If I give myself a little retrograde, do those purples come closer? They do. They do. The question is, am I now in the process of putting my periapsis into the surface of Minmus or dangerously close? I am not. Oh, wait. This is the one I need to look. No, it's still good. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Right here. Uh, let's get this as close as we can get it. So 1.3... One point one, one point two. Can I adjust it a little bit with the timing? I think that's be the wrong way. Uh, 
that doesn't seem to be making a little bit any difference if I use some normal because we do have some uh, you know what 1.1 is good enough I think for now and then we'll do a little bit of adjustment coming in all right so that's our burn that we're gonna do again just if you're gonna do this thing where you lower your burn it's really easy to to adjust the period of your orbit it's really easy to put this periapsis into the surface without paying any attention and then the next thing you know you end up crashing into the surface so that's why it's really important to check periapsis is 15.7 kilometers so that is fine on uh, now I should have now a maneuver yes this is now set up right <laughs> so or an alarm last week I was saying the word alarm instead of maneuver over and over again and I don't know why that is sticking in my head or maneuver yeah okay, let's put the view on free and let's get to that alarm we're gonna take a little bit of a roundabout route to the station there's the station right there we are getting closer to it but then we'll get further from it and then we'll get closer to it again <laughs> Let's get closer to this maneuver. But it's all pretty up here anyway. Oh, I'm just noticing this isn't being transmitted. Transmit that. Nice. Retrograde. We're getting the camera doing its funky thing. As we go over the North Pole. Measly 74 kilometers away from the station. Oh, I'm looking at the time of this burn. It's 0.4 seconds. So we're going to again turn this thrust way down. This time I'm going to remember to turn it right back up again. That's better. Okay, let's get ready to do this. Okay, so it's a seven second burn, so I'll start at seven seconds before the burn. Go to half throttle. And then, uh, cut it. Okay. Got a 1.3 kilometer separation. Let's play a little bit with RCS. See if we can bring that in closer. Not that way. Let's do a little bit of lateral RCSing. That really, oh yeah, no, no, I'm making it worse. I'm really messing this up. So stop it, stop it, stop doing that. I said stop doing that, so then I just said stop doing that. All right, we're gonna be there in an hour, a little over about 58 minutes. So what we gotta do is we gotta go around. We can watch it from here if people get, sometimes I think people do get confused by how this all works. So we're, here's us, here's the station. We're gonna be going a little closer to Minmus, so that means we're gonna be going faster. And that will allow us to catch up. See, and the station's going lower in its higher, or slower in its higher orbit, but we've picked up some speed and that's catching us up to the station. And here it comes. Of course, what I should be doing is thinking about slowing myself down. Where's the station? There's the station. Again, we'll use some RCS. We'll see if we can uh, bring this encounter. This is making it better if I do that. Yeah, I used to spend a lot of time fiddling around with the main engine, but this makes way more sense to try and dial this distance in. Okay, 200 meters. Under 100 meters now. There, 26 meters. Fine with that. And we're about eight minutes away. Relative speed's about 30 meters per second. So we, because we do have a bit of a plane difference. So that will increase their, your encounter speed.
You know, so one thing I'm worried about is that we're bringing up so much stuff to be processed in the lab, we're going to fill it up. It's going to run out of room for samples and data. That's something going by there. Add a closest approach alarm for one minute too. Yeah, I could do that. John suggesting adding a closest approach alarm. It's not a bad idea. But. Oh, gotta keep readjusting for the camera. Oh, I should increase this throttle again. Get to about a minute before the station. Oh, we'll wait for the station to render and then we'll begin slowing ourselves down. We're still two and a half kilometers away. There, now the station's beginning to render. Send the nuclear runabout back with the greenstone. That might not be a bad idea just for the contract. That might not be a bad idea as well. Okay, let, let's think about that. Let's think about what we're going to do here. I, the, the issue that I have is I kind of want to keep scientists here. Oh, let's slow down. Dude, dude, you're going way too fast. You're talking and going too fast. Slow down. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> um, I kind of want to keep scientists here in that lab and continuing to work. But the n nerve is their only ride back. I know what the solution is. The solution is another nerve. I just don't want to leave people here stranded. I don't know. I, and I know in game it's unlikely for things to go well, and that's not true with Kerbalism. There's enti entirely likely things can go wrong. But, um... Let's get closer. The idea of, you know, maybe Jeb booting back in the nerve and leaving the scientists here to just keep working in the lab kind of bugs me. But there's something to be said for that. But maybe what I should do is just bring up more people in another nerve. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. I'm starting to warm up to that idea, in fact. Let's see what the situation is once we get back to the station here. But I do like, it was a bit of work setting up this station and, and getting the lander here and having this runabout going back and forth. But I love the fact that for the past few streams, I have not been at the Kerbal Space Center. We've been doing all these missions and collecting all this science without having to return to Kerbin. And that's kind of the idea of this growing independence. I want Kerbals to become independent as much as we can of the surface of Kerbin. Okay, let's do this. Control from here. Again, we need to select ourselves a docking port. I think I got one staring right at me, don't I? Where's my station? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Although that's an engine. Okay, we'll go for this one again. This is its home. This is its birth. There's no reason to be set that as a target. The other thing I might consider too, before I get too carried away with all these Mimis landings is I probably unlocked more of that surface gear stuff. Back away a little. And, uh, there we go. There's probably more equipment I can bring up here that these folks can deploy onto the surface. I should really look into that. Mm 
we are. We are coming in. Is this engine on good? It is. Here, let's uh, actually shut the engine down. Coming in here actually kind of quickly. Slow down here a little bit. A little bit this way. There we go. You know, I'm mostly looking at the nav ball here. And just making my way over to the target icon, which is that. I should, again, slow down. You're moving too fast. That's better. I might have slowed down a little too much, to be honest. But yeah, these, these RCS blocks are too powerful. I should just turn them all down. You can see how much that prograde vector jerks around every time I give a little puff on the air. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. You're there. You're there, you're there, you're there. Okay, so we're going to again transfer our data over to here for now. Again, hopefully there's room for all of that. How much data we got? Look at all this stuff. And all of it should be inside that one capsule. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait. The surface sample, oh, it's not. Okay, let's transfer data. I think we gotta start using, why is there some stuff still in there? Transfer data. See, it highlights the surface sample from Minmus poles is still inside that capsule. I'm wondering if I'm running out of room for samples. I think that might be what's happening.